ambitious mission. Right? Our mission is to transform how the world builds software. And we've been at this mission for a little over 25 years now. And so Pivotal is a company just over three years old, but our roots span back to Silicon Valley in the early 90s. And our founder, Rob Mee, spent the better part of the 90s really discovering you know, a better way of building software. You know, pair programming with folks like Kent Beck and Martin Fowler, putting names to things like test-driven development, user stories, and so on, that have now become you know, the agile software development movement. Right? We spent the early 2000s implementing these practices outside of the classroom in real organizations, eBay, Google, Twitter. And we're now in the phase where we think we've perfected a better way of building software, and we're looking to take that globally and help some of the world's most admired brands transform and keep up with some of these digital disruptors. Because disruption is real. Right? We've seen a huge shift in the industry, whether it's through mobile devices. Right? I can check my bank account now once an hour, whereas 10 years ago, I would get a statement once a month. Right? That's had huge disruption on how the IT operations need to operate in the financial sector. Computing costs are nearly free through clouds like Amazon and Google. Right? We're seeing global scale of operations and sensor data that is powering IoT. We talked about the quote from Jamie Dimon. And we're seeing huge disruption across multiple different sectors. Right? Tesla is, is competing on product. Companies like Zipcar are competing on business models and Uber on their experience. In the financial industry, Square, Google Wallet, and Apple Pay, all huge disruptors. And in the entertainment and media, right, we're seeing Facebook competing on product, Apple and the iTunes store on business model, and Netflix. And it's working. Right? These companies have huge valuations. Most of these companies didn't exist five and ten years ago. And as Michael mentioned earlier, most of them do not have any inventory. So what we need to do to keep up with this is we need to transform. Here's a quote from Jeff Emmel, the CEO of General Electric. If you went to bed last night as an industrial company, you need to wake up in the morning as a software and analytics company. And this is a huge change for the industry. We work with a very large retailer in the US, Home Depot, and they realized that Amazon was selling more hammers than they were, and that they needed to become a software company. This is a Fortune 100 company, billions of dollars in revenue, and Amazon is selling more of their main products than they are. What they've realized is that in less than 10 years, their online business will exceed their retail stores. And they're not set up to handle that transformation. Right? They've built an amazing business over brick and mortar retail stores, a great customer experience in the store, and now they're having to compete with the Silicon Valley disruptors. So how are they doing that? There's really two things that need to take place. One is a modern software methodology, and the other is a modern cloud-native platform. The Silicon Valley disruptors are coming up, the Googles, Ubers, and Squares, because they can release new features much faster than these larger companies. Right, they're releasing multiple times a day. They're doing it across multiple clouds. Right? They're not worrying about building data centers. Right? They're worrying about building great software features. Netflix has been able to disrupt the media industry because they're building on open cloud infrastructure. Right? They're building on top of AWS, and they're worried about content and customer experience, and not about servers. Right? These modern cloud platforms are both application-centric and API-driven. Digital Cloud Foundry, one of these 
platform, <clears throat> is able to operate on multiple clouds, a, a huge factor in the new disruption. Right? We need to understand that if Amazon all of a sudden is selling more hammers than us, how do we take our infrastructure and move it over to Microsoft? How do we run it on Google? How do we run it on our own VMware products behind the firewall if necessary? As we look forward, we're going to see a huge shift in the industry. It's already started. 75% of application development is going to be built, not bought. Right? We need to shift away from the outsourcing model. We need to build that competency internally and re-learn how to build modern software applications. We need to shift away to thinking about data centers, and we need to shift towards thinking about building software. We need to build teams internally that are collaborating with one another. They're delivering software at the speed of these Silicon Valley companies. We need to combine agile software development methodologies, such as pair programming, test-driven development, and so on, which I'll talk about later today, with the lean startup techniques, a lot of which have been driven from lean manufacturing. We talked a lot about by a gentleman named Eric Reese, um, who we're thankful to have as an entrepreneur in residence with us at Pivotal. And we need to build these balanced teams of developers, designers, and data scientists working side by side with one another. And then we need to use data. Now, the one advantage that we have as large industries is that we have huge amounts of data that we're not taking advantage of. Now, we need to find ways to leverage that data to create insights that improve our core business and allow us to build new opportunities. That data needs to be open. Now, it can't be sitting in an Oracle database behind a firewall. Now, it needs to leverage open source software. It needs to be cloud enabled. We need to leverage that data through data microservices to enable our application developers to build new data driven applications. This is a big change. We need to move away from the sphere of us being disrupted. And we need to find hope that there's transformation. It's not about trying to catch up with these Silicon Valley companies. You know, we, we feel that we can leapfrog them and that we can truly transform. You know, we have decades of industry experience with our customers. We have huge amounts of data. If we can tap into both of those things, then how can the Googles of the world possibly compete with us? This is how we're going to become the new disruptors. We feel that Silicon Valley is not just a place, but it's a mindset, a way of thinking, a way of collaborating. We've proven that over the past 10 years by taking this ethos and expanding it across the world. Right? And we're here today to help figure out how we can disrupt together. So I'll have a couple more talks throughout the day, diving deeper into these topics. Thank you for coming.